Welcome back everyone. Through community workshops and extensive outreach, Prospera helps low income Latina immigrants become business savvy. Elena Fairley from Prospera joins me now. Hello. Thanks Hi. for coming on our show. Thank you for having me. Okay, so tell me about Prospera. It's been around mm -hmm. 19 years. It has, it has. So we partner with low income Latinas to build co-ops and co-ops are locally, um, they're local collectively owned businesses. Mm -hmm. So all of the women that work at the co-ops um, are actually co-owners and they share in the profits and make decisions democratically and it's a great support system for them. How did this all come about? Yeah, that's a good question. It actually started in East Palo Alto and there were two social workers and they were working with a, a couple different um, women's groups that were really struggling with some major life challenges. Mm -hmm. And one thing that just kept coming up over and over again was the need for a stable income. Um, and out of that need, these women's groups decided that they wanted to band together and start businesses so that they could be secure and really have prosperity in their lives. Um, and after and they're the boss. Exactly, exactly. So these women are really, they're in the driver's seat and they have ownership over, over their work. So mm -hmm. you've developed five successful co-ops? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. And they're all in eco-friendly house cleaning and they're all here in the Bay Area. And then, so these co-ops, they sustain about how many workers? It's about 100, um, oh. about 100 women, all of which are Latina. Mm -hmm. um, and combined, the co-ops bring in about $3 million per year in sales. Okay, so that's a pretty mm -hmm. successful business there. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some pictures here, some mm -hmm. of the women in the program. Yep, that's one of our co-ops. Um, uh, that one is Emma's Eco Care. At Emma's Eco Care. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you're also partnering with La Cocina. That's correct. So our sixth co-op is going to be different. It's going to be in the food industry, which is brand new for us. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be a co-op that's going to make and sell paletas, which are traditionally Mexican popsicles. Mm -hmm. And we're partnering with La Cocina, which is a San Francisco kitchen incubator, to provide extra support, especially around the the cooking and the, the food side of this business. So the five the five uh, initial co-ops, those are cleaning. Yes, exactly. And then this one will be food, mm -hmm. which everyone loves food, especially here in the Bay Area. So that's great. Um, the learning investment, what is that? Yeah, so the learning investment is a training program that actually started last week. And this is really kicking off this new Paleta Co-op. So we invited 11 really remarkable women to join this six week training program. And it's really the first step um, in becoming a worker owner at um, the New Paleta Co-op. And so all the women are learning about effective communication, about co-op principles, about food handling techniques, all these really great skills that they can take with them. Yeah, they are great skills. And field building work? Yeah, so another big piece um, of what we do is field building. So we've noticed that more now than ever, people are really interested in building co-ops. They're seeing the promise of them. And so um, we actually just put on our first ever training for people that want to build co-ops in their communities. Mm -hmm. And so we had 30 people come from all over the country to participate in a two-day training recently. And you have a special co-op development model. We do, we do. Um, it's very specific. We have three main elements to this model and that's business development. So making sure that mm -hmm. of course the business can survive. Um, democratic um, systems and structures. So this is the really unique piece of co-ops that they are, you know, there is no boss. So there needs to be lots of systems in place so that democracy can happen. Mm -hmm. um, and then member capacity building. And this is really the heart of our work. And that's a, it's really a partnership with the members to, you know, build up their capacity so that they can be successful business owners. It seems like it would really build up their confidence. It does, and that's something we see over and over again, that this really has a ripple effect in terms of how the women build up confidence in themselves and then how they take that back to their families and their communities. And you're actually reaching out to other community-based organizations. We are, we are. So we did, um, we did outreach for this latest um, co-op that we're developing at Mujeres Unidas y Activas and um, MEDA, which is the Mission Economic Development Agency. So we're, you know, we're definitely getting out there in the community. And you've been out there in the community for 19 years, but you just recently made a big change. So we, we need to get that clear, just we, in case. We did. Um, if anyone out there thinks that this work sounds really familiar to wages, that's because we are wages. We just <laughs> changed our name a week ago. Um, 
our new name is Prospera and um, we changed our name because we really took a look at our impact and we realized it's really more than about a quality wage. It's really about prospering in every aspect of your life. And it sounds like the women here are prospering. And I love the way you said it way better than I did it, Prospera. That's <laughs> yes. the way it should be said. Prospera. <laughs> all right, Elena. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for coming on and telling us about all of the great work. And good luck in the future. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Well, for more information on Prospera's projects, you can log on to prospetacoops.org. Again, that's prospetacoops.org. That's it for this week. We'll be back next week with more Bay Area Focus. Have a great day, everyone.